Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on crack concepts and in this video I will be discussing 13 common SQL interview questions related to null values and I will obviously will be discussing the answers to those questions as well. So let's begin with it. I have curated 13 questions. Let's go through them one by one. The first question, very basic question, what is null in SQL? So null is obviously different than zero and it is also different than an empty string so when i write null it's different when i when it's an empty string like this then also it's different and when i write zero then also it's different all these three are different null represents the absence of a value in a field which means there is no value but when i write an empty string over here it means that it is empty. It is still a value. And when I write 0, obviously, it's again a value. But null means the absolute absence of that value. It is unknown or undefined value. If you want to understand it better, see this uh, picture over here. Over here, as you can see, this is a toilet paper roll. This is empty. This is empty. But it still has the roll. Hence, 0. Null means there is nothing, there is no role, nothing, that is null. This is the exact same thing, just a better picture. If there is a role, but there are no tissues to it, which means there are zero tissues or it is empty, empty string or zero. But when there is nothing, there is no role, nothing, which means it is null, it's undefined. How to check for null values in a column? This is our second question. If you want to check null values in a column so you can use a where clause and you can use is null for it so this is our query select star from whatever your table is where column name is null so this will give you all the records where the column is null third question is what is the difference between null and an empty string the same thing which i explained earlier null rep represents the absence of a value well an empty string is a valid string with zero length empty string or zero it is still valid but null is basically absence of value how to replace null values with a specific value in a query result you can use colas select colas whatever is your column name comma whatever you want to replace it with as column name from table name let's say our table is employees and our column name is say country country name and our column name is country and I want to replace it by any so select colas this is your column name country and if the column country has a null value it will be replaced by any and it has an alias country name from employees this is your table so wherever the column country has null values it will be replaced by any because we are using colas question number five is explain the behavior of the null value in aggregate functions this is a very important question so if an aggregate function encounters a null value it generally ignores it except for the count star function so whenever you use count star it will count all the rows including those with null values any other aggregate functions be it sum average min max they will ignore null values but count star will not can a table have multiple null values in a unique key column and also can primary keys have null values these two questions so this is a very important difference between primary key and unique key as well unique key can have only one null value and primary key cannot have even one null value Question number eight, how to insert a null value into a column during data insertion? Simply just skip that column, then it will consider it as null or you can just use the null keyword as well. So that's what I've written over here. Simply omit the column from the insert statement or explicitly use the keyword null. So you can write something like this, insert into whatever is your table name. These are your columns, values, and you can just simply write null. You can also just completely skip writing column number two. It will by default consider it as null. 
Question number nine. Explain the use of the is null function. The is null function returns the specified replacement value if the expression is null, otherwise it re returns the expression itself. So select is null column name and whatever is the replacement value as column name from table name. This is pretty much like Coley's. There is a difference between is null and Coley's which we will also discuss um, in question number 12 I suppose and also there is a complete video around this the difference between is null and Coley's you can go check it out so is null is pretty much like Coley's but there are some differences which we will discuss later in this video so just how we did it in the Coley's examples let's say the table name is employees this is the alias that I'm giving it and the column name is country and I'm going to replace it by any. So in the table employees, wherever the column name country is null, is null, wherever the column name country is null, it will be replaced by any. Question number 10 is how to count the number of null values in a column. You can use the count function and inside that, you can write a case statement. So case when column name is null, then one end. So what this will do is wherever that particular column name is null, it will consider it as one and in the end it will count all the ones. Instead of count, you can also write sum over here because the inner case statement is returning one for every null. And then in the end you can just simply add off. So you can use count or sum. It will work in either case. Question number 11. Can null values be indexed in SQL Server? Yes, null values can be indexed. However, querying for null values might be less efficient than querying for non-null values due to the way indexes work. So yes, it will work. That is a simple answer, but it will take a lot more time. It will not be as efficient. Question number 12. How do you handle null values in your queries or code? If this question is asked to you, you can give whatever you use. But here I am sharing three methods. First is you can use Coley's function. So this is an example where you can just write Coley's and the column name and whatever you want to replace it by. So if customer name is null, it will be replaced by any. So this is how you're handling null values. Second is using a case statement. Here I have written the case statement. When that particular column is null, then it will that then it will replace it by zero. So case when discount is null, then zero, else discount. So in all the other cases, it will use discount as this. But if discount is null, then it will replace it by zero. So you can also use case statements. Third is using default constraints. So if you know that a particular column has null values, what you can do is you can alter the table, alter table, whatever is your table name, and alter column, whatever is your column name. In this case, the column name is registration date, and then you set default, whatever should be the default value. So default value will be current date. So you can use default constraints as well to deal with nulls. Question number 13 is difference between Coley's and is null. So is null and Coley's are more or less same. The only difference is the number of parameters it can have. Is null can have only two parameters. The first one, first parameter will be the column name and the second will be the replacement value. Coley's can have multiple, multiple parameters. You can have as many parameters as you want. So this in this example, if the first name is null, then it will consider last name. But even if last name is null, it will use this default value unknown. So is null can handle only two parameters, the expression to check and the replacement value. Coley's on the other hand can handle multiple expressions and returns the first non-null value. For example, there was one more, one more uh, column name over here, one more parameter. So it will Take the first non-null value. So what it will do is Coley is first name. Is first name null? Yes. So it will go on to the next parameter, last name. Is last name null? 
yes it is again null then it will go on to the third parameter which is a string which says unknown so it will take unknown so unknown will be our output it will ignore the fourth parameter so it will go on from left to right whenever it finds the first non-null non value it will consider that as the value so that is it for today's video i hope this video was helpful do check out our other videos in the sql playlist also check out our sql ebook i will link it in the description box go check it out and like share and subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching it